Hi, it's Anna Kaisa. Today we are doing a calming routine that I call bedtime yoga. It is intended to help you shift from daily activities to a time of rest. Feel free to wear your pajamas if you'd like and have a yoga blanket, a bath towel or a thin cushion at hand. Let's get started. Let's begin our bedtime yoga with a warm up. So come down on the floor on your hands and knees. Into tabletop position. From here, let's lift our opposite arm and leg and reach forward and backward and bring the leg and hand back to the floor. Let's do this with the breath, inhale and reach. Exhale and return back down. Again, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. You don't have to go higher than horizontal here. And you can flow at your own pace. This exercise helps us warm up our arms and legs and the back muscles. Let's do one more time on both sides. Inhale and exhale. Good. Now let's do some big circles to warm up the shoulders and hips. And the other way. You can match your breathing here as well. Going up, inhale, and going down, exhale. Good, let's come back to tabletop. Now we'll do some cat-cow arching for the back. So let's start the movement from the, from the pelvis. So as you inhale, begin to arch your back, first the pelvis, and then as you exhale, again, beginning the movement in the pelvis. Inhale. And exhale. Go at your own pace. And you don't have to be too extreme with the arches. And now let's come back to tabletop. One more warm up exercise. Let's bring our shoulder and hip closer together as we inhale and exhale back to center. Inhale the other side and exhale back to center. You can also turn your head to look at your feet. A couple more times. And let's come back to center. Very good. Let's come up to standing now. Let's start in Tadasana, the standing mountain pose. Have your feet hip width apart. And let's find a balance where we are distributing weight evenly on both feet. So here you can rock from front to back and from side to side to find that even distribution. 
And when you have found it, go ahead and close your eyes. And stand tall. Relax your shoulders and arms. And imagine there is a string attached to the top of your head, pulling upward, lengthening your spine. Keep your chin level. Now bring your hand to your belly. We will do some diaphragmatic breathing. As you inhale, feel your belly expanding. And as you exhale, feel it relaxing back. Focus only on this movement of the belly. Feel that as you inhale, you're bringing in peace. And with each exhalation, you're letting go of all the daily activities, all worries, and all plans. Just breathe. Let yourself come into this moment. You can release your hand and open your eyes. Our first pose is Vrikasana, the tree pose. Tree pose is a very calming pose that improves our balance as well. So let's shift our weight onto the left foot, soften the knee. Now open your right leg from the hip joint out. You have three options for the foot position on the ankle with the toes touching the floor for easier balance or you can bring your foot to the calf or the thigh but do not place it on the knee so find your foot position and here don't let yourself collapse onto the hip lengthen through the hip joint inhale and circle your arms up overhead join the palms Relax the shoulders and soften your elbows as you exhale. Lengthen upward through the crown of your head. If you have cardiovascular disease, you can bring your hands to the heart. Breathe smoothly and naturally. And bring your awareness to your spine. Feel yourself becoming calm and centered. And mentally repeat, I am calm, I am poised. I am calm, I am poised. To exit, inhale and reach tall. Exhale and relax your arms down and release your leg. Let's pause in Tadasana for a moment to enjoy the effects of this pose and to notice the changes in our body. And now let's repeat on the right side. Shift your weight onto your right leg and foot. Open the left leg at the hip joint and find your foot position wherever you had it the last time. Again, lengthen through the hip joint. Inhale and circle your arms up. Join the palms and reach tall. Exhale. Bend the elbows and relax the shoulders. 
tuck your pelvis in if needed, if you have a tendency for sway back. Breathe from your diaphragm smoothly and naturally. Find your calm center within and continue to affirm mentally. I am calm, I am poised. To exit, inhale and reach tall. Exhale and relax your arms down and release your leg. Let's pause in Tadasana for a moment. Wonderful. Let's move on to the mat for our next pose. The next pose is Paschimottanasana the posterior stretching pose. For this pose, I'd like you to grab your blanket or your cushion or your bath towel, whatever you have at home, place it on the mat and sit on the edge of the blanket. This pose gives a really nice deep stretch for the legs, but it is also very calming and relaxing. So it's really great in the evening. It has two phases, the active phase where we keep our back straight and the relaxation phase where we allow the back to round. If you have any osteoporosis, just stay in the first active phase and don't round your back. So sit at the very edge of the blanket. This helps to keep the back straight. So feel that your pelvis is tilting slightly forward here. Your legs are stretched in front of you. Let's now inhale and sweep our hands up along the front side of the body, stretch tall, exhale, and circle your arms down to your legs or the felt mat, and fold at the hips, keeping the back straight here. Don't allow the back to round yet. So for a lot of people, including me, it's a very small movement. If you notice that your back is rounding, just back off. Each time you inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, see if you can fold a little bit more forward without rounding the back. We'll spend a couple more breaths here. Now, if your back is healthy, let's inhale and lengthen the spine one more time. And exhale, leading with your heart. Round your back over your legs. You can wrap your three fingers around the big toes. Or have your hands on the floor or your legs, whatever is comfortable. Keep breathing smoothly and naturally. And here, let your upper body relax completely. Any further deepening of the stretch should come through relaxation, not through effort. Breathe space into those areas where you feel tension and feel yourself becoming calmer and more relaxed. Let's deepen that feeling now by mentally affirming, I am safe, I am sound. All good things come to me, they give me peace. I am safe. I am sound. All oh, good things come to me. They give me peace.
Release your hands. Inhale as you walk yourself up. Sweep your hands up. Exhale as you circle your arms down. You can pause in any comfortable seated position. Feel the energy release in your legs. And draw this energy into the spine and up the spine to the point between the eyebrows. Let's move on to the next pose now, which is Ustrasana, the camel pose. It's a wonderful backward bend, energizes the spine, but it also opens the heart and chest area, which can be a very calming feeling. I like to use a blanket again for this pose to cushion my knees. So it's not mandatory, but it might be nice. Actually, we'll do this from the side view to help you see the pose more clearly. So come to kneeling with your knees hip width apart. Place your hands on the pelvic rim in the back. So basically there is a the bone here. Place your the heels of your palms on the back side of the pelvic rim. Your fingers touching and pointing down. We'll be using our hands to push forward and down so that this helps keep our thighs vertical, but also helps us avoid a sway back. Have your elbows shoulder width apart. Inhale. And push your hands forward and downward and extend backwards as if there was a big beach ball behind you. As you exhale, relax into this position. Don't allow your head to drop. So if this is uncomfortable for you, just tuck your chin in. This is a really nice place to stay, but if you know the full expression and feel like your back is up for it, you can reach your hands to your heels. Keep pushing your hands forward and down. And breathe smoothly. Feel your chest and heart open to your higher power, whatever that might mean to you. Silently affirm, with calm faith, I open to thy light. To exit, release one hand, inhale and sweep it up and bring your upper body back to vertical. Exhale, and you can rest sitting on your heels or in any comfortable seated position. To pause and feel. Notice your spine and the energy there. Gather the energy deeper in the spine and consciously draw it upward to the point between the eyebrows.
very good. The last pose for today is Jatara Parivartanasana, the supine twist. Jatara Parivartanasana is excellent for spinal health and for our digestion. Let's remove the blanket now. We won't need this for this pose. And calm down lying on your back. If you have osteoporosis, twist only minimally. Or if you have any spinal injuries, avoid twisting in that area. Bring your arms to a T and slide your left foot toward the buttocks. We're gonna be lifting our pelvis and shifting it so that we can keep the back straight. Otherwise, there will be a curve in the back if we twist directly from here. So press your left foot down and lift your pelvis. Now shift the pelvis about six inches to the left, and place it down. Now place the left foot on the right thigh and bring the right hand to the left knee. Point your heel downwards, lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale and roll on to the right hip while keeping your left shoulder on the floor. If your neck is healthy, inhale and lift your head. Rotate your head to look over the left hand. Exhale and place your head on the floor. Keep your breath flowing from the diaphragm. And here, notice that there's energy moving in your spine as you breathe. As you inhale, the energy moves upward. And as you exhale, it moves downward. Keep in mind that it may be a very subtle feeling. Become open to this energy flow and mentally affirm, I open to the flow of thy life within me. I open to the flow of thy life within me. Keep your right leg engaged. And relax. Now inhale, lift your head and roll it back to center. Exhale, place it down. Inhale again, lengthen. Exhale, and release your hand and rotate back to center. Place your foot down, lift your pelvis up, bring it back to center and place it on the floor. Let's rest a moment in Shavasana. Remain aware of that energy flow in the spine. Now let's repeat on the other side. Bring your arms to a T again. Slide your right foot. Near your buttocks, press down, lift your pelvis up and shift to the right about six inches. Place the pelvis down. 
place your right foot on the left thigh, bring your left hand to the right knee. Inhale, lengthen through the leg, and the crown of your head, exhale, and roll onto the left hip, but keep the right shoulder on the floor. Inhale, lift your head, rotate it to the right, exhale, place it, place it on the floor. Keep your left leg engaged. And breathe. Continue to focus on the energy moving in your spine. Be receptive to it. And continue to silently affirm. I open to the flow of thy life within me. I open to the flow of thy life within me. Release your hand, inhale, lift your head and roll it back to center, exhale and place it down. Inhale, lengthen, exhale and rotate your hips back to center, press your foot down to bring your hips to center and relax in Shavasana. Pause and feel. Keep bringing energy in the spine and up the spine to the point between the eyebrows. We will now go into deep relaxation in Shavasana. For a deep relaxation, feel free to cover yourself with a blanket or even roll a blanket or your towel under your knees. So let's come down to Shavasana. Your feet are a little bit wider than hip width. Have your arms at about 45 degree angle from the body. Your feet can roll out a little bit. Breathe deeply from your diaphragm. And let yourself relax. Let the floor completely support you. Scan your body briefly now to find any lingering tension. Breathe space into these areas where you feel tension. Mentally affirm after me. Bones, muscles, 
movement. I surrender now. Anxiety, elation, and depression, churning thoughts, all these I give into the hands of peace. Oh, let's start to wiggle our toes and fingers. Gradually make the movement bigger. You can stretch your arms overhead. Bring your knees to the chest. Give your back a little massage. Now, roll on to your right side. And push yourself up to a comfortable seated position for a brief meditation. Place your hands, palms up on your legs, close to the junction of the thighs and abdomen. Keep your back straight in its natural curves, your chin level, shoulders relaxed. Uplift your gaze behind closed eyes as if you were looking at a distant mountain top. Let the belly expand and relax as you breathe. Bring your awareness now to your nose Find the place in your nose where you can feel the air moving most clearly. Concentrate on the airflow at this point. Keep your gaze uplifted. And if your mind wanders, simply bring it back to watching the breath in the nose.
you may notice your breathing become more calm. That's good. Enjoy the pauses in between breaths. Now inhale gently through the nose and exhale three times through the mouth in quick succession. Hold the breath out as long as it's comfortable and enjoy this brief moment of stillness and freedom from breathing. Let the next breath come in as it needs to. But don't pay attention to it anymore. Simply sit in stillness. Take a deep inhalation and exhalation. Gently open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me tonight for this calming routine. I hope it was beneficial for you to transition from your daily activities to a time of peaceful rest. If you are enjoying my videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Sweet dreams.